Hey guys, it's your boy Rek, coming out with a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS in Fortnite after the latest update which just dropped yesterday. The tricks I'm about to show you guys are fairly simple to follow and are very effective which makes sure that your PC is running at its max potential. Before we start guys, I do wanna let you know that I do make plenty of Fortnite FPS and ping related videos, so do be sure to check them out on my channel. Please leave a like on the video down below and subscribe to the channel cause it will really make my day. So yeah guys, just make sure you go ahead and follow the whole guide so you don't miss anything. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the tips and tricks. First up guys, what you need to do is go to your file explorer or you can just search this PC in your start menu and then click on it. Then select the drive in which your Fortnite is installed. For most of the people, it will be their C drive, but I have changed it to E. So select that drive, go into Fortnite, then Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then you're gonna find these four applications which have the Fortnite logo on them. These are the four main applications which run in the background while we play Fortnite. So we are gonna optimize these to run at their maximum and allow them the full control of CPU resources so that we can reduce stutters and fix lag. So what you need to do is right click on them, click on properties, then go to the compatibility tab, then click on disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DPI settings and then click on override high DPI and select application. Make sure that application is selected, click on ok, apply, ok. And now repeat the same thing for the remaining three files as well. So yeah guys, what this will do is that it will allow this file the full access to CPU and GPU resources without the interference of Windows, which is gonna help you increase your FPS as well as reduce those micro stutters that you may be experiencing while landing or running, jumping or anywhere in the game. So yeah guys, after you have done that, just close it and now we are done. For the next thing, you need to go to your start menu and type this PC and then right click on it, click on properties. Once this window opens, click on advanced system settings. Under performance tab, click on settings. Then choose adjust for best performance. Now after this guys, it's your personal preference whether you wanna leave all of them unchecked or you wanna check some, but uh, I would recommend that show shadows under the mouse pointer the, you should check this one show thumbnails instead of icons and you should check the smooth edges of the screen font these three options you should check them because they will be really helpful but uh, overall this is all personal preference it's not uh, necessary to check them so then click on apply click on ok ok and close out of that for the next thing guys Go into your start menu again and this time type run R U N. Then open it up and then we're gonna open up this window. Just type percent local app data percent. Click on OK. You're gonna see a bunch of folders. Just go to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, then right click on game user settings. Go down to properties. If the read only is checked, uncheck it, click apply, ok. Then again right click on it and click on edit. After this, go to edit and find. Then you're gonna search B S H O W G R A W S. Show grass, find next. Change its value to false. If it's true, then change its value to false. After that, just scroll down a bit till you find the scalability groups then for texture quality make sure it's on zero and then foliage quality make sure it's also on zero then click on file save and then close out of it right click on it again go down to properties click on read only apply ok and then close out of it ok guys now for the next thing what you need to do is open up your epic games launcher once it opens up go down to your settings then scroll all the way down to Fortnite, click on it and then check this additional command line of arguments 
and then removed anything if it's there and paste this command from the description I will leave it in the description then go back to Fortnite and then close out of your epic game launcher now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow Fortnite to use all of the CPU cores rather than using half of them so it's gonna increase your performance and make your FPS a lot more stable for the next step guys go down to your start menu again and this time type cmd and run it as administrator then paste this command from the description I will leave this command also in the description and press enter and the operation completed successfully what this is gonna do is that it's gonna run the windows timer at its max all the time rather than switching it to high or low whenever required this is gonna make your game a lot more smoother and uh, you will not experience those hitches and stutters anymore for the next step guys go down to your start menu again and again type cmd run it as administrator and then paste this command from the description which starts with power cfg and press enter then it will say that ultimate performance this step only works for windows 10 so if you are using any older version then you can simply skip this step so after you have done that go down to your start menu again and search power options then go to your power options and for you guys the ultimate option will be hidden in show additional plans so just click on that and select the ultimate performance option then go to change plan settings turn off display never then save changes and exit out of it for the last step guys what you need to do is go down to your start menu and go to your settings then go to gaming and make sure that your game bar is turned off and unselect any of these options then go to game mode and make sure that it's on there are a lot of people who say that uh, you should turn it off but uh, i would personally recommend to turn it on if your windows version is anything above 1903 to check that just simply go to your start menu and type winver w i n v e r and as you can see i have the 1909 version if you have any version above 1903 turn the game mode on if you have anything below that you can just turn it off i hope this video helped you guys and if it did leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content i will be releasing even more videos related to ping and fps boost so do be sure to stick around for that and yeah guys see you in the next one